If there's no incarnation of God, then how can we be more control over the powers of nature, the powers of the universe, than God? By us reincarnating and God not incarnating. That's how we keep God from incarnating. Simply don't take the teaching of reincarnation. Because once you do that, you open your eyes to look and see, Jesus, who reincarnates? God would reincarnate. Jesus would reincarnate. Oh my God, this is a whole other world. Now I have an opportunity to look around. Look for the good in the world. Look for people who were previous saints. They're out there. Every Saint Teresa, yeah? They're there. They're walking the earth. And they, a lot of times they have the same name. Strange enough. Because God's in, in charge of this thing. No one comes up with the name for their children. No one comes up with the name for anything. Yeah? It comes out of the phenomenon of the Holy Spirit. Yeah? Something that makes us holy. So God gave us a Christian name. A name. Yeah? And that name isn't what you think. It has to do with your reincarnation. Yeah? No matter who you are, you may have, I'm an idiot, is your name. <laughs> well, guess what? You've been an idiot for a long time. <laughs> yeah? Or, or blunderhead, you know, your last name. Yeah? Or ass in a hole. Yeah? Is your last name. How did you get that last name, ass in a hole? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> it came with my first name, I am. You know? I don't know. Yeah. But God, God loves this place. God incarnates. God gives you a name. Yeah. So God anoints you. Whatever level you're on, you get referenced by getting this crazy ass name. Yeah. And that comes with you. You know, you have all the right in the world to change your name. You know, <laughs> totally, a hundred percent. Nobody, nobody has a right to look down on you for thinking asshole's not a good name. 